All right, hey guys, Eric here from California Dry Fly. And what we're gonna do today is, well this evening, is we're gonna do a bag dump. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I carry while I'm out fishing. Um, there's one thing I don't have in my pack that I do normally try to carry, um, water bottle or a grail. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, drop me a comment and I'll, I'll show you that. Um, anyways, so back to the pack I carry. This pack is my trout fishing pack. Um, if I'm going to target steelhead in the same waters, um, I just throw some oddballs in here for steelhead and I just continue. If I'm just going steelhead fishing, completely different bag. We'll go over that one next. <clears throat> All right. So anyways, this is the Umcaw Zero Sweep Omni Pack. So it's an ambidextrous pack. I've got a link or a video down below about this pack if you have any questions. What I carry, um, as for on the outside, what I carry, um, I carry the Loom Aqua Gel. Um, I just carry it in this little uh, kind of pin-on holder here, right on the front of my pack. Uh, I carry just a set of forceps. Um, I have my net lanyard on the outside, my magnet. I carry a wet fly. Um, it's the longer handled model. Helps me get out there a little bit extra reach. That's the net I always carry. I don't carry any other net but that one. That's my main net. Um, I have some tippet pockets up here. This is where I carry my fluorocarbon that I use a lot. Um, I've got in this pouch, I keep uh, frog's hair. Uh, 6x, or uh, sorry, 5x and 4x there and then on the other pocket I keep some 3x um, so that's the fluorocarbon I carry in my outer pockets um, I carry a set of nippers uh, these are just scientific angler I believe nippers um, got the nail knot tool small file which wore off a uh, fly patch where I've just put my flies to dry or ones I'm going through maybe an extra on there of the one that's doing really well <clears throat> so and then in the first pouch well, actually, we've got the my mono. This is where I carry all my mono. Um, I've got eight. Let's see, I've got eight, three x, five x, five x, and a four x. Um, and those are the main monos I use when I'm out trout fishing. So in my first pocket, which is my smaller pocket, I keep Rio two tone. Um, in two sizes, seven pound and 11. Um, <clears throat> I keep some more fluorocarbon, just oddball stuff. Uh, this is 4X, and then this is 4X. This is the Trout 4X, which is seven pounds, they're fluorocarbon. And then this is the Steelhead Rio, which 4X is five pounds. So I carry both of those, just kind of as backups. Um, and then I carry 12 pound fluorocarbon and this is 10 pound Maxima uh, Chameleon and this is backing for um, it's extra for my Euro nymphing rod if I take that rod and I, I find other oddball things to do with this sometimes um, I carry a small bag whoops I carry a small bag of tippet rings. These are from Postfly, um, and I've been using them, and they've been wonderful. Haven't had any issues with them. Um, little indicator in there. Other than that, that's the end of my front pouch there. So now we'll go to the next biggest pouch, which is where I carry my fly boxes and other things like that. Now, I switch my fly boxes out for whatever creek I'm on, but for the most part, I carry two fly boxes in here. Um, I will carry my nymph box. Uh, right now I have Pewter Creek ones in there and something's rattling around in there. Got one loose. So that's what I carry for Pewter Creek. I carry that box and then I carry a box of dry flies. I don't really throw very many dry flies on Pewter. Every once in a while you'll get a cool hatch or you can get a fish to rise to them. So I have some of the basic stuffs in there. BWOs, Blue Wing Olives, stuff like that. Um, Caddis. Um, I've got a couple of grasshoppers in there, stuff like that. Uh, I carry, this normally isn't in here, normally I have this in this front little pouch. I carry a string thermometer. Um, it's a post-fly string thermometer. 
uh, and the zippers inside here, I carry weight. So I've got a little pouch of clip-ons, uh, a little, little bag of what size are these? I uh, wore off pain pills, so I was little guys though. And then some mixed stuff. Um, these are just oddball cheeky weights that I use for spots where I know I'm going to lose a lot of weight. Um, and then... <clears throat> uh, in the big pouch, I have indicators. Um, I have a variety of indicators. Uh, I've got some cork ones, some corks. Uh, I've got mostly glows and clears. I've got one airlock pink, and I've got some of these little foam indicators. There's an orange one that's supposed to go back in there. Um, so that's what I keep in this little pouch here is my indicators. And then in this big pouch, this big pouch down here, I keep all of my leaders. I've got some. Dr. Dan's lip balm. It's an emergency pack. I carry some of that. This is always in there too. Um, I always carry my Dr. Dan's. Um, I carry a variety of leaders. Um, I have a sink tip. Uh, I've got a fuller leader. Uh, just a variety of these. I actually got to fill this back up. I usually carry a handful of these. So that's all my leaders. And that empties out that pouch. So then the biggest pouch um, is where I carry my gloves, beanie, sweatshirt if I really have to. Um, hopefully I don't have to. And then I carry some oddball stuff. Um, I carry a seam. It's just a little bit of mesh rolled up and I'll put it over my net with a hair breadth there. Um, I carry a small lanyard of stuff, uh, leather line straightener, measuring tape, nail nut tool. Um, I've got a Swiss Army knife and then I've got a fly tire there. And then a safety pin. You never know when you'll need a safety pin. I also usually inside this pouch I'll keep this. This is my San Juan worm tub. I don't separate the colors. I just throw all my San Juan worms in one little tub and throw them in there when I'm going to fish San Juan. Uh, and then this is my high sticking setup. So these are all jig uh, J hook flies for euro nymphing or high sticking. Um, I have a couple of small WD-40s in there as an extra fly or a third fly. My streamer box. Um, this is cha this changes all the time. I keep big stuff in here. Um, all my streamers, I'm pretty pretty whooped on streamers. I got my butt kicked and lost a bunch. Um, and then I have rubbers legs, grasshoppers, big caddies, attractors. I keep all my attractors and my big stuff in this box. And I don't really use this a lot. I just have it in case. Um, so that's that. And snacks. Got fruit roll up in there. Um, inside here, there's another pouch. I've got a pen. Um, if you're steelhead fishing, you always got to have a pen. So I tuck pens in everywhere, guys. And this is from Eagle Marine. It's where I work in Martinez. So I always keep a pen in all my packs. Everything, all my hunting packs, always have a pen. And then this is some, a, this is the dry shake. I'm new to this. This is the first time I've, I've done dry shake. It's pretty cool. It leaves all your flies a little white, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to keep using it. So I keep that in there because I don't use it very often. Um, and that's what I carry on a day trip out fly fishing. Or if I'm going camping somewhere where I know where I'm going to be using, you know, I'll take just this pack. I will rotate the fly boxes out <coughs> between... You know, different boxes. I have them for each each area I'm headed to. And I rotate them out. Sometimes I don't carry this box. So it varies where I'm at. But for the most part, that is what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm fly fishing, guys. If you have any questions about any of the gear I use, um, or anything you've seen in any of these videos, or anything you see in any of my videos, just drop me a comment. I can throw up another video or answer any questions you may have. Once again, guys, um, this is my pack. I love it. This is what I use. The nets. None of this is sponsored. None of this is covered. This is just the gear that I run on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys on the water.